Hi then guys, this is iTech 63 once again with another Adobe tutorial and today we are going to be looking at Adobe After Effects and the neat little trick what I'm going to be showing you is the head explosion um, I'm sure you've seen this in videos, movies before it's just a simple trick of someone getting shot in the head and their head exploding and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a quick little video that I made just now. Only short, um, four seconds long, and this one's a really basic. You notice, um, if I just play it again, watch her head. As you can see, it disappeared. <coughs> um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. You'll need the blood explosion MOV file and the blood splat pick. Um, that is a JPEG. So first of all, open up your After Effects and go to File, Import, File, Blood Explosion. Okay. Oh, actually, um, File Import multiple files you should have went on um, insert your two um, main parts the blood explosion and the blood, blood splat and then you just need to find your piece of footage um, I recommend also using downloading any video converter as then you can convert your videos into a format that Adobe After Effects more um, appreciates more with quality and performance like AVI or MOV is the best one so just insert your footage and done now you drag your footage into the composition area or you can drag it down to here as you notice it's just appeared here right, and the first thing we're going to do is drag your time indicator all the way to the end um, and or until your key person, key character is out of that frame then you go to composition save frame as photoshop layers <clears throat> and I'm just going to save it in my after effects folder and I'm just going to rewrite this, overwrite that and don't worry if you haven't got Photoshop, you will not need it. Now you need to import that um, image, that PSV file, Photoshop, and just hit OK. And now that's done. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is drag our current time indicator all the way up until the bit when the head is just about to explode, which I think is right there. Then go to Edit split layer mm. as you notice the timeline has just split into two parts directly on the in time indicator where I wanted it to split now you need to go to layer new layer and a solid make it white and I'm just going to call it cork the one I'm just going to shrink this this little solid now just so that it fits and that fits perfectly into my timeline up on the indicator. You need to place it in the place where you want the head to explode, not before, not after, um, not after, exactly on that place. Now, if you click on the Courtney One or whatever you named it, and just press T on your keyboard, the opacity box will appear, and you just change the opacity. I usually have it to 23 and as you can see you can see almost right through it you can have it on zero if you want so you can you can't see it at all but like this but I do not like it like that I prefer it like this so then you can see the mask what you what we'll be doing in one second so that's all done now so now you can click on the white layer and up here it says pen tool or you just press G and or you can use the ellipse tool like this but 
for this video I'm um, going to be using the pen tool. Sometimes it comes out with a blue line um, and a red fill. If it does that, um, just click on the ellipse tool, you, um, do one circle with that and it will be fine. And then click back onto the pen tool. Right, so we just now we just draw a circle mask all the all the way around the head. Doesn't have to be really really um, neat or whatever. It just has to be around the head because this is going to be the disappearing effect. Okay, so as you can see that now this bit will pop up. If it doesn't, you just click the little arrow next to the next to the white layer, and then the arrow next to transform, and we keyframe position and rotation. To keyframe it, you just have to click on the little timer, what is right next to position and right next to rotation. And now, if you are using a netbook, you will not be able to do this the way I'm doing it. So you'll just have to drag your time indicator every little really closely together and move your mask but if you if you've got a normal keyboard or laptop with the but um the kitty page down then you can use that to go to the next keyframe as you can see every time i press page down the, um the video moves to the next frame so every frame you have to move the mask so this sometimes may take a while to do I recommend doing it very slowly if you're wanting to get it the best you can possibly get it um, as you can see here all these red little squares that's all the keyframes that's because we keyframed position and, ro um, and rotation. And there. And there. And there. And there. Okay, so now that's all done. Now we can insert our PSD folder, our PSD image. So we're just going to drag this to the top, and now on the white layer, it should say trick mat up here. If it doesn't, down here it says toggle switches forward slash mode. Click that, and it will change. So I'm just going to click that, and it's trick mat. Now you click on trick mat, trick mat, and track mat. I mean, and select alpha mat, and then your PSD file like this. So now, if I change the opacity, bring it right up to z right there a second. Um, right there. Hmm, why this working now? Um, sorry about that. Uh, I'm just going to delete this PSD file a sec. Bring down the opacity. Um, now I'm going to insert the PSD into there. Now I can change the alpha mat. Oh, I know why. Um, you will need. To bring this, I think this is why. Right. 